Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is May 28th, 2023. We are on the day of Pentecost here in the United States on the Gregorian calendar, May 28th. And I saw this report by uh, Steve Chicoliante of Australia. There was a big Pentecost earthquake in Australia. And he talks about this and the way they were feeling it there in Australia. And so I wanted to uh, investigate this. And uh, very important information coming out of Australia, especially connected to the hybrid eclipse that was exactly 40 days ago over Australia. And so let's take a look at all of this information as we are watching here the day of Pentecost. Okay, so I looked up this information. Now, the first thing that came to uh, the forefront here is that the earthquake strikes Mel Melbourne just before midnight. Midnight. Okay, we're 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 on we're on uh, Pentecost, and midnight is very very important biblically, and it's also connected very importantly to Pentecost. So let's take a look at all of this information. Earthquake strikes Melbourne just before midnight as cameras capture the very moment tremor hits and awakes the city with epicenter next to the airport. Can anyone say it's time to fly out of here? The epicenter was next to the airport. Now, Largest to hit metropolitan area since 1902. Based on the date of that, it's been over 120 years. Now, here's the other connection to Pentecost. 120 in the upper room. 120 years. Uh, we've got the midnight. Okay. And then we've got the connection to the actual location of the hybrid eclipse that we were watching April 19th and 20, uh, 40 days ago, going right over Australia. Okay. And so we have a 40 day connection. We have the day of Pentecost. We have midnight. We have 120. I mean, there's so much information here and we just want to break this down. Uh, take a look at all of the details. Okay. Let's take a look at all of these details. An earthquake has struck in the heart of Melbourne with many residents roused from their beds by rattling walls and windows. The earthquake hit on Sunday at 11.41 p.m. near Sunbury on the city's northwest fringe with an estimated magnitude of 3.8 on the, Ming on the Richter scale. It is thought to be the largest earthquake to impact the Melbourne metropolitan area in over 120 years, with cameras inside a radio station capturing the moment live on air. Residents in the CBD in downtown Melbourne claimed they could feel the tremor, with some reporting their walls and windows were shaking. Dr. Dean Ninnis, an earthquake geologist, said it was widely felt across Melbourne. Welcome back. We've experienced a tremor in the studio. I'm not sure if you have at home that felt like a bit of an earthquake. Okay, another report says the earthquake struck on Sunday about 11.47 p.m. with an estimated magnitude of 4.5 on the Richter scale near Sun, Sunbury, 40 kilometers northwest of the city. So one report shows 11.41, another report shows 11.47, one report shows 3.8, and another report shows 4.5. But it was widely felt throughout uh, Melbourne, everyone said it was a very, very strong uh, uh, earthquake. Residents living in Melbourne CBD said they could feel the walls of their apartment shaking. Okay, so let's take a look at a few of the scriptures here connected to uh, what I was saying about the midnight, Pentecost, and the 120. 
Uh, here we are in Acts chapter 1. It says, In those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, The number of names together were about 120. So when the day of Pentecost came, there were 120 in the upper room. It says, When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Okay, so we've got the connection to Pentecost and we've got the connection to 120. Now we have the connection to midnight. If we go to Ruth 3, verses 7 through 9, it says, When Boaz had eaten and drunk and his heart was merry, he went to lie down at the end of the heap of corn, and she came softly and uncovered his feet and laid her down. And it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid, and turned himself, and behold, a woman lay at his feet. And he said, Who art thou? And she said, I am Ruth, thine handmaid. Spread the, therefore thy skirt over thine handmaid, for thou art a near kinsman. And so this uh, actually in uh, Israel, the Jews read Ruth every Pentecost. Every Pentecost, and actually during the night of Pentecost, leading up to Pentecost, they, they stay up all night and they wait there is a, a moment in time that they call a, uh, a window, that a window of heaven is open and that for, for a split second, a blessing, the blessing of God will come down. And if you are awake and you are uh, alert and ready and waiting for that, then you will receive that blessing. And so they, they have this, uh, this custom to stay up all night on the day of Pentecost, uh, waiting for their blessing from heaven. And so... Ruth is one of the books that is, is read during the timing of Pentecost because it was during the timing of Pentecost, during the wheat harvest, and the timing of, of the, uh, the summer harvest, that Ruth and Boaz were married. And the connection to Pentecost is the timing of the wedding, but then it, it was also connected exactly to the timing of midnight. At, it came to pass at midnight. That the man was afraid and turned himself, and behold, a woman lay at his feet. So there's a midnight connection to Pentecost uh, in the book of Ruth. Then if we go to Matthew 25, 5 through 7, it says, While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. At midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go you out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And so con connected to midnight, again, is a wedding. Just as Ruth and Boaz, there was a wedding. It's connected to the timing of Pentecost in the, in the book of Ruth. And here we have a midnight cry. And it says, go out to meet him. And, and we have an earthquake that strikes just before midnight. Connected to Pentecost. Connected to the number 120. Okay, now if we go to, look at this uh, word here, go out to meet him, okay? At midnight there was a cry made, behold the bridegroom cometh, go out to meet him. Today is May 28th, and tomorrow is May uh, 29th. If we go to 528 in the Strong's Concordance, it's to meet, 528. I go to meet, to meet, encounter. This is used twice. But then if we go to 529, it's a meeting. The act of meeting to meet, also technical for the reception of a newly arrived official. And it's the exact usage of Matthew 25, 6. Go out to meet him. Go out to meet him. 529. Okay, and so we're watching Pentecost anywhere between today and tomorrow, uh, May 28th, May 29th. We're going to see that uh, Whit Monday, 2023, Whit Monday for the year 2023 is celebrated, observed on Monday, May 29th. Whit Monday, Pentecost Monday, Monday of the Holy Spirit, each year is the day after Pentecost, are often called Whit Sunday. Whit Monday celebrates the descent of the Holy Ghost on the disciples. Could it be the next morning that is the day of Pentecost fully come? The next morning, May 28th, 
Pentecost, and then Pentecost fully come the very next day. And that is why there are two days that are set aside for Pentecost. And it is Sunday and Monday, and they call this Whit Sunday and Whit Monday, and it is Monday, May 29th. So we have that connection between today and tomorrow. Now, if we look at the hybrid eclipse of April uh, 19th and 20th, okay, April 19th and 20th, if we go April 19th to May 28th is 40 days, April 19th to May 28th is 40 days, and if we go non-inclusive from April 19th to May 29th is 40 days. So we have what is a sign over Australia on April 19th and 20th. Why are we calling this the sign of Jonah? Because of the location in the constellation of Pisces and Cetus, which is the whale. Okay, this was the, the, the location of this hybrid solar eclipse was in Cetus the whale. Okay, was this the sign of Jonah 40 days before Pentecost? And now, today, exactly on the day of Pentecost, we have, we have another sign exactly over Australia. A sign connected to midnight. A sign connected to 120. What this makes me see is that this is a very important sign. This could be the midnight cry. This could be our last final warning. We are right now on Pentecost. We're still on Pentecost right now. We have the rest of the day and then we have into tomorrow. So we need to remain vigilant, remain watchful because all of this could be a confirmation that we have arrived and not a sign for many days yet to come. So we do not know. All we have to do is, is watch. Okay, I do want to let everybody know, just as I have for uh, many days now, ever since the hybrid eclipse in Cetus the Whale on April 19th and 20th, I have been pointing to May 28th and May 29th, both of these days as very important days. All of this is what I have been sharing leading up to May 28th and May 29th. We need to pay attention. This could be a very important sign especially because it's right over Australia where the hybrid eclipse was, especially because it's the day of Pentecost, especially because it's what happened just before midnight, and it's connected to 120. As it says in the book of Genesis 6, 1 through 3, it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. So we not only have the hundred and twenty connection to the day of Pentecost and the hundred and twenty that are in the upper room, but we have a connection to the hundred and twenty years connected to this earthquake over Australia. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh, yet his day shall be 120 years. So God has ordained that a generation will be 120 years, or an understanding of the Jubilees. 120 times 50 is 6,000. And so we are coming up upon the end of the 6,000 years, coming to the time of the judgment and the tribulation, before we go into the final thousand year uh, reign of Jesus Christ in the millennium. Uh, the peace millennium of the reign of Jesus Christ. And so all of this are things that we are watching. And all of this has been documented on my channel leading up to May 28th and May 29th. So today this earthquake over Australia, all of the details connected to it, high watch remains today and tomorrow for Pentecost and the possibility of the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.